This is a follow-up video on the S&P 500 analyzer application dealing uh, specifically with the um, industry tab that's currently showing on the screen. The industry uh, worksheet here is intended to do uh, drill down on uh, specific uh, uh, industries that make up a uh, uh, sector. So it's laid out uh, just like the S&P 500 uh, minus the watch list area. And we're, uh, we're over here on the S&P 500 worksheet. We're dealing with uh, stocks from the S&P 500. And then the uh, roll-up information has to do with, um, the, the, in, uh, in this case, 50 stocks that are part of the portion of the S&P 500 that are viewed over here to the left. Well, the industry uh, worksheet does say, has the same roll-up area over here to the right, and then uh, it's rolling up the information that it sees over here to the left. But unlike the S&P 500 worksheet, which is, is some subset of the overall uh, or top portion of the S&P 500, uh, the way the industry's uh, worksheet is designed is you designate a specific industry, one of uh, 10 different industries, let's say I pick financials, and then out of the financials, I have the option of picking a specific industry that I want to focus in on. So let's say I want to focus in on just banks, and it'll come back. And so now what you're seeing listed is not um, just merely the top of the S&P 500 like it is with this uh, uh, worksheet. We're now looking at the, um, <clears throat> over here now, we're now looking at uh, uh, out of the entire S&P 500, uh, in, uh, independent of what's shown on the S&P 500 worksheet, this has gone out and grabbed all S&P 500 stocks that are in the sector financials and um, in the industry banks. Now the uh, price difference that you're seeing quoted for a given day has to do with the historical price on this worksheet, which is 122. And then uh, let's do a refresh here. We do a refresh as of 124. So we're actually looking at the price difference across two days. And so these settings, uh, these dates here have nothing, are totally independent of the dates here. They, they work uh, uh, totally individually. So if I want to, uh, just like was talked in the introductory video, which assumed that uh, you've watched at this point, if you clear this uh, value, we'll then default to the previous uh, day and then now we get uh, the days change from yesterday through through today and you see over to the right in the heat map area the roll-up area you're only seeing one industry rolled up because you've been very specific over here to the left that you've only wanted to see the companies from a specific industry namely banks so another option is you could select all <coughs> and say that uh, i want to see all uh, the, the, the companies that make up this sector out of the S&P 500. And then what you see over here to the, to the right is a roll-up across the different industries that make up that sector. So a typical cycle would be uh, you start over here in the S&P 500. Uh, you do, you know, you're looking at uh, stocks. You maybe you just done a refresh. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and refresh these current prices to bring me up to. Uh, uh, cl uh, right after the clo close of market today, <clears throat> and I go over here and look at the roll-up information, and I notice that uh, healthcare has had kind of a rough day relative to the other sectors. So again, the cycle is be you notice something probably over here on the on the S&P 500 uh, worksheet, then you come over here to the industry, and you say, okay, I've noticed something w with uh, healthcare. So you would uh, typically pick healthcare all. Um, and you can see here that when you repivot. Uh, you automatically get, uh, it refreshes prices for those new stocks that you're bringing in and then uh, uses the previously uh, designated historical date, uh, which is 123. Again, if you want to change the date, you can uh, put in an exp this like with the uh, S&P 500 worksheet. If I wanted to go back to, let's say, 10.05.18, I'd enter it here, and then um, it would refresh, and now I'm looking at uh, day change that's uh, and this is for the index up here and then this is for the what's currently uh, under or you're being viewed so since October 5th till now got about a six percent drop in the uh, healthcare sector 
compared to a drop of 8.43. Well, I'm going to go ahead and clear this and let it take the default of uh, the previous close date is the historical date that I want to compare. And the uh, cycle that we're, the, the scenario that we're going through is that we've identified something with healthcare, a 1.4% drop today. I want to go out here to the industry and see if we see any uh, anything that would uh, explain that. And it looks like the majority of the drop was here in the pharmaceuticals. So I could can now come over here to the left and now do a drill down uh, all, uh, and select pharmaceuticals, or I could leave it the way it is. And uh, I just use the filtering of Excel to um, only give me the, the pharmaceutical companies. So um, either approach. Uh, here, here you get a list of, uh, what is this? Uh, <coughs> 14 companies, but um, if I would have done up here and just picked in pharmaceuticals, I get back the, uh, the same 14 companies. And you can see over, over in the roll up area to the right, it's only showing uh, one industry because that's all I've selected over here in, in, uh, for the portion that I want to see in terms uh, of the sector. All right, that's a brief overview on how to use the uh, industry portion of the uh, S&P 500 Analyzer app.